do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have something wild. Today we have something, this is this is really bad, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it. We go watch this, but this this girl finds out, okay, so she has a, she has a OnlyFans. She has that thingy where she be, po where, where they be posting the, the sexy pictures, you know what I'm saying? She has OnlyFans. And that's not it. That's not okay. So she has an OnlyFans, right? And that's that's we all know at least one person who has an OnlyFans. It's not the worst thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, my girl cannot do it, but this girl has an OnlyFans, and guess who her top donor is? The person who watches all of her videos. The person who donates the most of her videos without her even knowing. It's her mother effing dad. You know what I'm saying? This girl's dad is her biggest. Supporter on OnlyFans. He watches all of her videos and donates the most amount of money. This is wild. Like this is this is disgusting. That's horrible. That that, that you know your parents should be your biggest fans, but not in this way. Not did <laughs> that. He needs to go to jail. He's a pervert. He needs to go to jail. This is not a life and matter, but it's funny because it's weird. I don't know. We finna watch this. I'm super excited. If you excited for the video, smash the like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, hit the post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop these bangers. You know what I'm saying? Type yourself a drag. You can buy two and third free or bump up six seven fifty dollars. We got the best durags in the game. But you already knew that. I'm not even wearing one right now, but that boy still dripped out. And that's all from a drag. So copy yourself one. But without further ado, we go hop right into this. This is like a compilation of a bunch of crazy videos, but then I think towards the end it shows the video with the with the girl that 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 her daddy is a pervert and a weirdo. The craziest relationships ever. What is going on, guys? Shot clips here once again, and this video shows some wild clips of the craziest relationships I can Shot find. Clips having, well, goes, Shot clips be having them good videos. We're not gonna lie to you. This channel was fire. I love watching this type of videos because he be having the good entertaining stuff. Clip will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But this first one, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess there was this guy. He was flirting with this guy's girlfriend, and you know she was like being loyal in the beginning, walking away until he pulls up to his Lamborghini, and then she does the stupidest thing ever, and this guy should just break up with her. That's why Florida always be trending on Twitter. Florida always is trending on Twitter, bruh. Florida is always trending. These, these people out here are crazy. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the moment I start seeing my girlfriend doing this, this is immediately cheating. She's big dub, big dub. What the F is wrong with this girl? Cause he got a Lamborghini, you finna leave your man's. I'm not gonna lie to you, right? Let's be honest, they're young. This is probably not who they gonna marry. Honestly, she's right for leaving him for a man with more money. Like realistically, they probably go break up in six months anyway, so she might as well break up now and go clap the dude that has money so she can live a nice little lavish lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being with this little high school bum. No, I'm not saying cheating is okay. I'm, I'm just, I'm speaking logically right now anyways. He's interested in another man, and that's not me. So yeah, that's cheating to me. I'm rubbing the car right now. I'm rubbing the, what she, oh my gosh, she's pulling him. She's pulling him to the car. She's pulling him to the car. In this next one, I, I don't know. You guys have to let me know your opinions. I kind of got annoyed in how they were flaunting their body counts. People in the comments were saying this was cap, and these girls are completely lying. But regardless, if they say anything, <laughs> I can't. I'm not gonna say that. Let's speed. If they say any, never mind. Let's, never mind. Let's watch this, bro. Listen, I don't know why they're so proud of it. Check out this clip. <laughs> What's your body count? <clears throat> my fake one or my real one? My fake I honestly one. Don't think I can tell. My the fake one that I tell people. Yeah. 39 it's the only people that i cared about <laughs> that's on that list i'm literally like i think i'm sleeping with like over 20 people this week <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't even think there's 20 people in the world who want to clap like come on bro i can't i try not to be mean but let's be realistic bro can we be realistic for once on the internet? Like, like the internet is just full of bunch of lies. So can we please be realistic? Can we please be realistic? Can we please? I'm begging you to be realistic. I'm begging you. <laughs> I'm literally like, I think I'm sleeping with like over 20 people this week. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't count work. Oh, true. Because I, I, I mean, 
I only count like two people I've worked with, and that's because I low key caught feelings on accident. And this next one's out. Wait, what? What are they? What are? Oh, if they, if they, if they pee stars, then maybe, maybe. I don't know. Who wants this video work at? Who wants to be in that video? Huh? I don't know. Twenty a week is still a scrunch. How many videos you shooting, woman? I'm a full time YouTuber with three channels, and I don't shoot twenty videos a week. What the? <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. I guess this girl got a voicemail from her best friend. And well, this was the entire message. I'm not sure why you did this. This is so embarrassing. I accidentally clogged my boyfriend's toilet, so I put the, took the poop out and put it in his cat's litter box. And he asked if I pooped in it. And I said, no, but he said his cat has been dead for a week. <laughs> what the f What the heck? <laughs> Watch it, bro. Please pick me up. And this next one is actually a picture of a girl, I guess, making an excuse to her boyfriend, explaining why she got a hickey on her neck. I want you guys to read this. This was absolutely astonishing. Babe, don't get mad. I got to show you something. I told my dad yesterday I was going to see you today, and he thought it would be funny to jump on me to wake me up, and he gave me a hickey. I was like, really? This bee is huge. My mom said I look like white trash. Now, I ain't no professional liar or nothing, but I could have definitely came up with something better than that. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. She got piped down by some random dude around the corner at the gas station. I read it already. Come on. Fast forward this. And this next one's super annoying. Basically, there is this woman. I guess she sees this guy. He posted a TikTok. I guess he went to like 50 states around the country and went on 50 dates with all these women and every single one of them ended up being white. This girl really hated that, but thankfully this other woman commented on the TikTok and started defending the guy. Ladies, if you're looking Wait. for a way to create possible- So this man just clapped a woman from every state? Okay, what? That's dis that's dirty, first of all. There's 50-something states, 51 states with Hawaii, I think, or something. I don't know. I didn't study geography like that. But I think it's 50. I think it's 51 states. It's, it's 50, but it's technically 50. Whatever the heck it is. Oh, he clapped 51 girls. Okay. You dirty bastard. I think it's fair to say that my guy has a type. In all my life, I ain't never wanted to force a man that didn't like me to like me. I never seen a man that don't date women that look like me and go, well, I've got to show him what he's missing. I go where I want to and I go where I'm wanted. This man is receiving hate because he used his own time and his own money to travel to 50 states and date 50 women that he found attractive. God forbid we fuck with people we actually find attractive. The real issue is we see people we're attracted to and then we get upset because they're not attracted to us. Sorry, not everybody fits on the rasta. We'll be mad as hell and I don't know why. Well, he said he don't like big women right there are men that uh prefer bigger women and this next one's absolutely messed up basically there's i don't get that that wasn't i don't get that one but anyways this girl i don't know why it always happens during these interviews but she asked this man what is the worst thing he ever did and i guess he cheated with his best friend's girlfriend just keep watching one more question right. tell me a secret do you have any good ones yeah uh I my best friend's girlfriend and he five years ago and he never found out he never did no <laughs> hopefully he does it right now no him. He blocked me on everything. F that dude. And this next, if he never find out, why did he block you? Really do feel bad for this guy, especially what he was going through. Basically, he's explaining how like the legal system is so rigged against men, and how everything was literally taken away from him, even though his wife cheated on him. She still received all the benefits of a divorce, and it kind of puts things into perspective about why you should always choose the right spouse. I have to say, is our legal system is fucking rigged, especially if you have a. Dick. I was a good husband. I'm a good father. I have 50-50 custody of my kids. I'm not even divorced yet. Speaking with my attorney today, she basically gets all of my shit. She cheated. She put another dude before her fucking family. She left. Mommy and daddy buys her a fucking house. I'm losing my house for my kids and have to go rent a tiny house now, which is whatever. That's fine. That's great. But I have 50-50 custody. She makes good money. Her dude makes good money that they live together with in the house that mommy and daddy bought. But yet I have to pay fucking child support and basically give her all of my shit. So she gets a fucking reward for cheating and fucking over her entire family. That's horrible. 
the legal system is real rigged for dudes. I'm not going to, I mean, for females. It's rigged against dudes, I should say. And that's a whole nother topic for a whole nother day. But that's that sucks for her. I'm not going to lie to you. She cheated and she got a reward. She got a new house. She got a dude more money. She got basically all his stuff. He down bad after getting after realizing that his wife was getting the clappers on with another dude. That's wild. The legal system is fucking rigged, especially if you have. Then his ex was absolutely messed up, and this guy should let go of his girlfriend. I guess she was really interested in this guy who was at this bar, and she did not care at all that her boyfriend was right there trying to hold her back. I, I don't know if she was drunk or something, but this is just disgusting. She was flirting with me, and then her husband walked up and started tripping. Why is she still holding on to him right now, though? I'm assuming the black dude is the dude that she was fighting with. She wanted a little bit of Snicker Bar in her life. She tired of the white chocolate. She tired of that little... She tired of the, the vanilla. She want to try a little chocolate swirl. You know what I'm saying? Because she gripping onto that man's elbow like she love him already. And this next, I really had to add it in. Basically, there's this girl, I guess she wanted to go horseback riding, but the people who control all the horses said, nah, she's too heavy to ride one of the horses. And then she decided to blast them on TikTok, trying to ruin all of their business. Just because the poor horse didn't want to hold her. Keep watching this clip. This TikToker is mad after being told she's not allowed to go horseback riding due to her weight. So she made a TikTok that said, shout out to Deep Hollow Ranch for making me leave because I weigh over 240. She was mad about the weight limit, so she posted this TikTok to get her over 2 million followers to attack and hurt the small business. Now, it would have been an issue if the ranch was like, oh, no, I don't want your business because I don't like you. But this is a living animal. They refuse her service because they care about the health and safety of their horses. So after she posted this TikTok, Deep Hollow Ranch was flooded on Google with bad reviews. And this next one is... That's bad. The horse don't want to... The horse... The horse want to live too, lady. The horse don't want to die. But at the same time... Horses, I thought horses would be fine with like over 240 pounds. Don't they be like pulling carriages and stuff like that? But I guess that's different than like having it on top of them. Yeah, that is different. Cause like imagine like me, I could probably pull like a, a car, like a small car. I could probably pull a car if I put, if I like strap the, the things onto me and I just walk with it. But if a car like falls on top of me, I'm going to die. You know what I'm saying? So I guess it's the same with horse. You don't want to kill the horse. I don't know why you did that on TikTok. Though. That's ain't, that ain't right. This guy is really funny. Basically, I guess he went up to a bunch of girls asking what their sign was. And well, I guess he gave them a taste of their medicine for anybody who believes on all these signs. What's your song? Oh, we can never work. <laughs> You're very beautiful. What's your sign? What's my sign? Yeah. Oh, we can never work. You two are so beautiful in your twins. What's your sign? Libra. Oh, we can never. <laughs> Miss, you're very beautiful. What's your sign? I'm a Leo. Leo gang, let go, baby. Big Lils. You know what I'm saying? Big Lil gang's in the building. You know what I'm saying? Walk away from me. And this next one's absolutely insane. I'm not sure why this guy did this and how he didn't like hide her or do this better. I'm not sure how this girlfriend even found him. Basically, he decided to propose to another woman, and I guess his girlfriend caught him. I guess he was pulling two dates at the same time, no idea. But she got so, so mad. Check out this clip. I would be mad too. Who I look like? I'm your girlfriend, and you proposed to some random John in the mall? What? <laughs> <laughs> And this text was absolutely insane as well. Basically, there's a guy, he caught his girlfriend cheating on him. So he decides to, I guess, pull out all of her stuff, like out of her house, her furniture, and chainsaw everything. Thankfully, this guy sucks with a chainsaw. I don't think he did much damage. Yeah, this is bad. Yo, this nigga got a chainsaw. He just gave up on the table like that. Oh no. He's cutting the couch in hand. Oh no. He's cutting the couch in hand. No. Oh no. Look at this shit. 
And this next one is super sad. I can't believe what the hell this girl was going through. Even though OnlyFans is really a bad thing, I don't approve. Oh, this is the video. This is the video that we've been waiting for. Smash the like button. Let's go. In my opinion, it turns out she found out that her dad was watching all of her clips and was her top donator. And while this was his reaction, once again, I feel so, so bad for her. My own father. And mind you, I didn't know at this time until now, like yesterday. But he would send me dick pics on my old Snapchat so I could rate his penis for money. This is the George Lewis account that he had used whenever I was in middle school. So obviously I just found out yesterday. She was rating penises in middle school? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So he was sending her pee pee pictures while she was in middle school for her to rate them and he would pay for her to rate them, but he, she didn't know that it was her dad asking him? What in the disgusting idiots is going on here? That he has been behind two separate accounts that have been clients for a very long time. <clears throat> So he's just been building <clears throat> this little attraction towards me for years. And I've my favorite clip. Wait a, no, wait, I need, whoa, I need the rest of that story. No, somebody, what's her TikTok? This little attraction towards me for years. Nah, I need to find the rest of this video. Hold on, because that ain't right. That's the freaking disgustingest thing in the entire freaking world. He's, you freaking weird old dad. Like, come on, bruh. That's so disgusting. Let me try and find daughter finds out dad watches OnlyFans. Can I find the video? A girl that I'm gonna find. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna make a reaction video to it for y'all. This is crazy, bro. And I've ever my favorite clip on the list. Sorry, there is actually no sound at all in this clip, but you could see how embarrassing this clip was. Basically, this girlfriend was caught by her boyfriend cheating on him, and she decides to call the cops. And if you guys look in the corner there, the boyfriend's actually standing there. And if you guys look in the corner there, the actual other guy is standing there, scared for his life. Yeah, check out this clip. What am I watching, bro? Is she protecting the the her new man's? And why she called well, the cops? Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. See <sighs> this whole thing, I'm not going to lie. This is very entertaining. It had a bunch of cool videos in this one. I'm not going to lie to you. This whole compilation was pretty valid. And W's in the freaking chat. We had we had some crazy stuff. I'm not going to lie. But then that last thing really pissed me off. Like, that's freaking disgusting. I'm going to find that whole video. We're going to make a reaction video to it. Don't even sweat it. But, like, that's horrible. That dad needs to go to jail. And rot under the mother effing jail cell. I'm not going to lie to you. That is disgusting. From middle school. No matter what age it is, that's freaking disgusting. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. That's wild. But that's the end of the video. Make sure y'all smash the like button. Comment down below really like anything. I just want people to comment so I can feel like I'm not watching this by myself. I'm just playing out for him care. But anyways, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If you did, like I said, smash the like button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'ma see y'all out. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.